hey guys welcome again to another video today i've got a, an absolute trick for you right um i've got something really cool i want to show you on your mac um i'm going to be teaching you how to get a volume mixer on your macbook for free um and this is very similar to what you can do on windows so if you've ever used windows or if you moved from windows to a mac then you you'd understand what i mean by the incredibly frustrating decision by apple to not have an inbuilt volume mixer so you can't individually control the volume of each application on your mac which is incredibly insane right i mean it's it, it's so necessary to basic computer use you know maybe you've got some music playing or you've got uh i don't know a youtube video or a podcast and or you're playing a game whatever it is you're doing right sometimes you want to just mess around the volume so you don't have to um you, or, or maybe you're maybe, maybe you're one of those boring you know zoom calls that just drone on and on and on i just want to slide that right down and you know focus on something else but yeah either way whatever your your, your use case is i'm going to be showing you how to do that on your macbook pro for free enjoy right so i'm going to move over to my computer now and i'll share my screen with you so now you can see uh right next to uh, the lovely wonder woman over here uh the name of the application i'm going to be using to achieve this is background music i'm going to put the link in the description it's open source software so it gets an immediate plus 10 for me because i mean i love open source i feel like open source is so crucial to our advancement as you know techies and as a society in general i, I was about to get on the soapbox there but never mind anyway so back to today's video um so right on the github page for background music where you can actually grab a download for this software i'm going to be walking you through very quickly i've uninstalled it from my mac so i can show you from scratch just how powerful this is right it's incredibly powerful so i'll show you from scratch i'm um, just how powerful that is so uh we're going to go all the way down here so you see some basic information about it and we'll click on build and install so we can go over there oh the links aren't working properly uh, unfortunate uh, I'll just scroll down so basically there, there are multiple options through which you can install this software personally I think the best way to do this is to do it through source code um, I know you might be tempted to download it but for some reason uh, when I tried the the downloadable version of the installer it wasn't working as I expected uh, there was a bit of a buzz uh, in my speakers I, I, I wasn't happy with that but I uninstalled and I tried getting the latest version from the source code which worked perfectly so um the command i used is what you can see here option one install under installing from source code option one you open your terminal so let's get our terminal open and ready put push that over to the side here uh, move this over sorry wonder woman um, and all you need to do is copy and paste this so that installs um, the latest version of background music from the master branch so you can always be sure that when you run this command you're getting the latest possible uh, version unless you're interested in another branch but that'll be a video for another day so we've, we've been prompted to continue i'll press yes continue enter my password and of course now i must say something here at this point now if you do not have xcode installed on your computer even if you're not a developer, please install Xcode on your Mac because it's so useful for a number of other things you might need to do in the future, especially the command line tools. So what it's going to ask you to do is to install Xcode if you don't have it. And then if you don't have Xcode, well, if you have Xcode, then you can install uh, command line tools for Xcode. But I, I'm not sure if you can install the command line tools without Xcode, but if you can, then that's perfect. Then you don't actually need the full loan application. But either way, you know, it's 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 always a good tool to have on your computer. It's useful for not just developing other stuff as well. So uh, I already have that uh, installed on my computer because I am a developer and I use Xcode uh, in my day job. But uh, yeah, so this is currently installing. It will be done in a moment. I'm with the song. You can fill in the song wherever song you want. All right, so it's done. So uh, now you have to grant access to control music, of course. Yes, 
Uh, and to control the microphone, yes, because again, it, it's going to control your audio. Now, immediately it's done, you look up at your taskbar and you can see the cool new icon. That's it. Look at that. It's so cool. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in a bit so, so I can show you just how cool this is. Oh. Uh, right, so I'm going to zoom in a bit just to show you how cool this is bear with me one moment right so now if you look at the top left corner you can see you can auto pause your music so for example if you start playing music on um, YouTube or sorry on Spotify and you move over to like uh, you know the Apple music app or something you auto automatically pause your music f for another uh, on the other app sorry I can't speak it's it's nighttime yeah you, you have to you have to bear with me one moment but yes so um, as you can see this is very cool so you get all the uh, various applications of course you can control every app on your um, Mac uh, of course these are the ones I've got open right now so I could individually slide them down and increase the volume for your browser you can also you know decide the balance as well you know this is this is super cool now unfortunately one limitation of this software right is that you can't root audio for individual apps right there are other software for that but they're paid unfortunately now there's one software i can recommend if you want to achieve that functionality where you want to go beyond just mixing the volume to actually rerouting audio for individual applications to different outputs uh, and it's called sound control by z static software so yeah you, you could check that out and um I can guarantee it works brilliantly of course there are a couple of bugs a couple of kinks um, with airplay which is why um, I can't 100% recommend it but for those two functions number one controlling your volume number two rerouting your audio I can recommend that software but this is purely just for volume control and it's completely free so I mean you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain by using this amazing software so guys um, check out the software if you're interested I'll leave the description down below uh, in the description I'll leave the link to the software in the description down below there's there's your one and of course guys if you'd like to see more or if you'd like me to check out some other software for you or if you'd want me to give you more tips specifically to something you're trying to get done on your Mac that you don't quite know how to do leave me a, leave me a comment uh, in the comment section below the like button and I will be absolutely elated to answer your request and to sort out a video for you and of course I hope you're keeping safe I hope you're enjoying yourself as the world begins to reopen again till next time be fantastic Cheers. <laughs>